This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and to run your business. Hey everyone, Jessica Whitaker here. I am so excited to bring you behind the scenes on a little tutorial using DIY reflectors. I just moved across the country and my reflector is in a moving box somewhere in the middle of America. We're at a beautiful location in Western Washington where there is a huge, beautiful hydrangea garden, but it's in the shade and I need a reflector for these shots. So I got a little bit creative and pulled some things out of my mom's apartment to use in place of a traditional reflector. Here we have three different reflectors. If you are doing client shoots, paid work, then I encourage you to invest $15 into a traditional reflector on Amazon. I'll have mine linked down below. But these examples work great just for your friends and your family and any trade for print things that you're doing. Just wanna get creative and get a little bit inspired. I think that this video is really fun and just what you can do with items around your house. Before we hop into the video, I wanna share a free resource with those of y'all watching. If you are interested in joining an online creative community full of 60,000 encouraging kind photographers where you can ask questions share your work, receive honest insight and opinions from other photographers outside of my own perspective, I'm going to link down below my Build and Bloom free Facebook group for you all. And let's hop into the video. First off, we're gonna start out with some poster board. So we're gonna start out in the darkest little area of the location, which is these purple hydrangeas. It's kind of an overcast day. Um, the sun is behind us and it's golden hour, so there isn't really any light reflecting coming through on Dana in this little corner. So I think it's the perfect chance to use the poster board as the reflector. And this is gonna be interesting because it's very green right now, especially with um, all of the greenery. It's gonna be very, very green light. So this will be able to somewhat neutralize it, but I think I'll have to still do quite a bit in post to make it not as green and a little bit more magenta. We're gonna see. So I'm gonna have you, Anya, come on over here. Okay, so as you can see, without the reflector, we have the green reflecting from not only the grass below us, but also all the other hydrangea bushes. Now, if we put a little bit of a reflector under and we're going to hold it like this. You can see that this just illuminates a little bit more versus this where we don't have, we have a little bit more shadow. So this is going to work really, really easy. And I actually like how this we can even bend as opposed to foam core where it would be straight. We can kind of bend this around a little bit. I could even have Dana hold this. I think that this is a great, great alter. Yeah, let's see here. I'll have you hold it real quick. Okay, Ozzy, and then she could even hold it closer if I wanted to do a super close shot and have my camera right here. So why don't we, why don't we begin with that? Okay. <laughs> okay, so, so we're gonna do really close and then I'm gonna just have this adjusted okay beautiful and then lift your face just a tiny bit for me actually down a tiny bit more okay perfect beautiful gorgeous wow <gasps> wow okay and now we're gonna remove the reflector so I can okay. show them the difference and now what I'm about to show you and I'm actually gonna do the exact same pose for me if that's okay okay so it will be like side by side comparison and bring your face a tiny bit more towards a little bit yeah 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 Okay, I'm gonna even show you data so you can understand. So this is without the white reflector, and then this is with it. So see how it kind of illuminates your face and it fills yeah. in the shadows that other that we don't have because there isn't light coming like onto us, you know? Mm -hmm. So typically, if you can have a friend come along, or for me, my wonderful assistant, Anya, or <laughs> even if your model or your subject has a friend who's coming along, they could hold this and make it a little bit easier on you. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm holding this. But if I was on a client session, I wouldn't be so DIY, even though this is DIY. Um, it would be a lot more professional to then be able to focus completely on the shot and not balancing camera and reflector. But in this case, it works totally fine. Okay, amazing. Queen, okay. <laughs> okay, gorgeous. Okay. As a 
photographers, we know images say a thousand words, but our websites are what will get us those thousand dollar clients. Put your best foot forward with a fast loading website through Squarespace that you can set up in just a weekend. Pick from one of the dozens of pre-designed contemporary templates, plug in your branding colors and pop in your photographs. If you're a photographer, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you are ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash Jessica Whitaker to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Next up, we are going to use a white tablecloth or you could use a white sheet. If you don't have poster board on hand or don't have time to run out and pick up some poster board, you could always use a piece of white fabric. Oh my gosh, hi, welcome to our channel. Oh, hey. what's <laughs> up? Do you have a pin of any sort? No. I could you use the You can hook trunk. it on the bark, maybe. Yeah, okay, DIY. Oh my gosh, queen. So I want you though, Ani, to hold this a little bit closer to oh, her, okay. and I'm gonna do a super close-up shot. Oh, got it, got it. Okay, can I adjust your hair a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Love, okay. Super pretty. Oh my gosh, love. Okay. Oh my goodness. Serve them the look. And then, is this the most DIY shoot you've ever been on? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I'm scared. Okay, I'm gonna have you look this way, just time it for me. Beautiful. Oh, pretty. Lastly, we use, well actually, will you toss it to me for videography? Last up we have a towel. You could use a bath towel, a beach towel, whatever white towel you have, you most likely already have one of these. This is an awesome DIY option and this honestly is my favorite just for how much of a novelty it almost is to be using. I'm really excited to get creative and show y'all how we use the beach towel as our reflector. Now, with the towel, kind of like with the tablecloth or the sheet, you probably will need a friend to help you out. Why are you so far away? <laughs> You're gonna need a friend to help you out. Um, so Anya is going to be holding the towel. <gasps> oh my gosh, love. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold. Yeah, okay, amazing. Beautiful. See how crazy of a difference? Gained no reflector? Mm -hmm. Reflector. Oh my god. Isn't that crazy? And that's a towel. Right, right. Okay, that's a towel. do you wanna see on you? All right, that was today's tutorial. I hope that you feel encouraged and inspired. This is a really fun one to create. I love doing DIY videos for y'all. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more photography videos. I make them every single week and I love to pour into your business here on YouTube. But if you want even more on a daily basis, I share many tools and resources over on Instagram. I love doing Instagram live Q and A's where I can answer your specific questions about your specific photography business. I'm also going to have the build and Bloom Facebook group linked down below as well as my online photography workshop. So if you're interested in the marketing behind photography and running a successful consistent photography business that will be linked down below for y'all. I love you all so much. I believe in you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!